Hi folks, welcome back to Papa John's Homestead Channel. If you're just getting here, uh, welcome. Uh, my grandkids know me as Paw Paw, but you can call me John. Um, I hope all of you out there are finding something in these videos to help you along your journey. Uh, if you like what you're seeing or like to follow along, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the end of the video. So today is May the 10th and on the 24th of uh, last month, April, I set chicken eggs and quail eggs. Now, there's, two, there's a couple things to know about the two. They have different hatch dates. Uh, chicken eggs take 21 days. Quail eggs take 18. And as a rule of thumb, three days before the hatch date, you want to take those eggs and lock them down or basically just stop turning them. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I'm going to take all the eggs off the rack and uh, I'll mark one side of the eggs and uh, that helps keep me keep track of uh, what side is needs to be turned when the egg needs to be turned. It's very simple. Uh, There's nothing to it. So with that, I guess, uh, oh, and one more thing. When you, when you get to this date, this stage in, in hatching the eggs, you need to up the level of uh, humidity inside the box. Very simple, just add some water and uh, bring humidity up and it helps the little guys hatch out of their shells. So uh, with that, I'm just gonna I'd readjust the camera and just go through the process of doing it and let you watch. And I hope you enjoy. And what these marks do, they, uh, they help me keep track of which side they need to be turned to. Easy way to keep track of it. They only need to be turned once every 12 hours at this stage. And you can take these X's and you can do X's up in the morning, X's down in the evening just an easy way to keep track of it very simple process quail eggs will stay exactly where they're at I won't touch them again until they hatch later in this video you'll get to see the little guys coming out of their shells and don't forget to add water to your trays. I uh, should have done this before I uh, put the eggs in, but here we go. Now this incubator happens to have individual trays that you'll fill up at different stages. And it keeps the humidity level correct inside of your incubator important to have enough water in here at the end of this stage to uh, help the guys hatch out. Now one thing I failed to mention is you don't want to add cold water to your incubator. To warm the water up, hot tap water will work. A little bit on the egg ain't going to hurt it. So there you have it guys. Easy process, nothing to it. 
a few quail eggs and a few chicken eggs. Now the work starts. We got to get everything ready. All that's left to do is put the top on. We'll turn these eggs again this afternoon. The chicken eggs, the quail eggs, they're good. We won't touch those again until they hatch.